Hi, in this lesson we'll be seeing more about the Oracle eBusiness Suite database tier. First we'll see what exactly is database tier. Then we'll be seeing what are different schemas that are, that are basically installed once we install Oracle eBusiness Suite. I mean the schemas which will be created by default along with the installation of Oracle eBusiness Suite. Then we'll see what are basically data objects and what are code objects and what is the significance of each of these eBusiness Suite suite schemas. We'll also see what are different table spaces that are created along with the Oracle eBusiness Suite installation. Then we'll see what is a vision instance or and what is a fresh instance. So there are basically two types of databases that we can opt to basically create when we are installing Oracle eBusiness Suite. And what is the difference between these two? In the previous lesson, we have already seen what is client tier and what is application tier. In this lesson, our focus will be mainly on the database tier. The database tier of Oracle Business Suite is no different from the database tier what you see in any of the Oracle projects or Oracle environments. So basically your database tier is nothing but a simple Oracle RDBMS that is based on the version you are using, it can be 11G, it can be 12C database or it can be even 19C database as well. The latest version supported in Oracle Business Suite is 19C. And it basically supports the multi-tenant database. But remember that in Oracle Business Suite, the 19C can have only one PDB and also 19C non-CDB is not supported for Oracle Business Suite. But for 12C, CDB is actually not supported. If you are using 12C database, then it will basically, it basically has to be a non-CDB. But of course, there are some special considerations. For example, in Oracle Cloud, you can run actually 12C as a multi-tenant database as well. When you install Oracle Business Suite, the database basically comes it, it is created automatically and it also contains se several thousands of tables which are having the required information or data and which also are going to be used for transactions of Oracle Business Suite. In the next slides, we'll be seeing what are different schemas that are created. Once you install Oracle Business Suite, there are hundreds of schemas which are basically created. Now, the most important ones are these ones. The first thing is App Schema. App Schema is one of the most frequently used schemas by Oracle Apps DBAs and not only Oracle Apps DBAs but also developers use App Schema. And it also has to be secured because the App Schema has a lot of privileges even which are related to the system that is Sys views as well. So it's very important that the app's password is always secure. So what does this schema basically contain? The schema basically contains all the code objects. When I say code objects, it basically means all the packages, procedures, views, functions, etc., which are related to all the products. We know that in Oracle Business Suite, there are a lot of products. For example, account payables, account receivables, payroll, per, which is HR, for example. So there are a lot of, lot of basically products. And all the product related what you can say code objects are basically in the app schema. Now, there is something called Apple Sys schema. Remember the Apple Sys and app schema are very closely related and also they always have the same password. But none of the users or even DBAs generally connect to Apple Sys schema. For administration, only you will be using app schema. So what does Apple Sys schema basically contain? The Apple Sys schema basically contains the data objects which are related to ATG. ATG stands for Applications Technology Layer and these Application Technology Layer basically contains the products which are used basically for administration and also reporting etc. These are not related to business, remember. So these products which come under Applications Technology basically are mainly used for Applications Administration and also reporting, etc. These do not contain any payables, for example, or accounting or uh, HR or these kind of objects. And this Apple's schema basically contains only data objects which are related to ATG. 
There is a separate lesson which is dedicated for ATG, so do not worry about the concepts of ATG at this point of time. Now, all the application technology layer that is ATG specific data objects, data object means tables, synonyms, indexes are basically located in the Apple's schema. Now, most important thing is also product schema. We know that there are more than 200 plus products in Oracle Business Suite and all the products will have one separate user as well. And for example, for AP account payables, there is a schema called AP schema, similarly AR schema, per schema, and each of the product has its own schema. What do they contain? They contain the data objects related to the product schemas. What, do you, what is data object? Is nothing but tables, synonyms and indexes. So let us have a brief revision of what we have discussed. Now, if there is a product, let's say for example, account payables, which is related to financials family, then the AP related code objects, that is procedures, packages and views, all are there in app schema. And all the data objects which are related to the products are there in its own product schema, that is AP database schema. And there is additionally something called AppleSys. And the main use of AppleSys is basically it contains only ATG products related data objects. So we will see in detail what is ATG later. Now the last schema which is very important to discuss is AppleSys pub. The AppleSys pub basically do not have any additional privileges or do not have any important data, but the main purpose of AppleSys pub is to basically do the user authentication in Oracle Business Suite. The user authentication when it happens, the AppleSys pub is basically used for the authentication of the user. That is the only purpose of AppleSys pub and remember that AppleSys pub password can also be changed from the default and it is recommended. And also, one very important point about the apps and Apple's schemas is that we have already discussed that Apple's schema basically is the owner of all, all the data objects which are related to ATG family and apps basically contains all the code objects. But there's also one more important thing that apps basically has the synonyms for all the tables which are already present in the Apple's. As you can see here, for example, there is something called FND underscore nodes table, which contains the details of all the systems or machines which are part of Oracle Business Suite installation. And this FND underscore nodes is part of ATG product. And now this FND underscore nodes is owned by AppleSys, obviously. The table FND nodes is owned by AppleSys. But as I told, apps basically has one synonym for each of the objects of AppleSys as well. So you can see FND underscore nodes is a table which is owned by AppleSys, whereas there is a synonym for the same table which is owned by apps. When you install Oracle Business Suite, along with these users, obviously there will be several table spaces that will be created. And one of the most used and also the default table space for all the users created in eBusiness Suite is apps TSTX data. And this is also the main transaction main transaction table space and there are separate table spaces for index, reference, interface, summary, logging and all the queues for example or media which is for law, let's say images for example or the lobs basically and archive. So each type of data is stored in different table space. Now, there are two types of databases which are available when you are trying to install Oracle Business Suite. Either you can install a fresh database, which means a fresh install. The main purpose of it is for the actual implementations of Oracle Business Suite, which means if there is a customer for who wants to implement Oracle Business Suite, they'll always use fresh install database. And there is also an option to choose vision demo database. And that is mainly used only for POCs, proof of concept or developments or training. Let's say for example, there is a customer who is first time having a feel of Oracle Business Suite or they want to know what are the features of Oracle Business Suite. Then you can install Vision Demo Database to understand the features of Oracle Business Suite or for demos. Let's say for example, you are from, you are from Oracle Consulting Company and you want to show the demo to 
one of the customers on the features of Oracle Business Suite. Then you can basically use a Vision Demo database. But remember, for the actual implementation of Oracle Business Suite, you never use Vision Demo database. You'll always use only fresh installed database. When you say Vision Demo database, it basically contains several of the dummy data as well, which means a lot of transactions, a lot of dummy users, a lot of test, uh, let's say transactional details and payroll system, payroll for example, and a lot of reports, all of them will have existing data so that it can be easily used for demo purposes. So let us have a look at the database once. When you run select start from db underscore users, you can see all the list of users which are related to your business suite. As we discussed in the previous slides, you can see that there are product schemas, for example, AHL, account payables, AP, AR, all these are product schemas. And we have something called AppleSys, Apps, and AppleSys Pub as well. So these are all the users which are created by default when you install Oracle Business Suite. And as you can see here, all these users have the default table space as apps TSTX data. Now, let's have a look at the table spaces as well. So as we discussed, there are several table spaces which are also created based on the nature of the data that is stored in these table spaces. By default, all the transactions are actually stored in TSTX data and indexes in TSTX IDX. These are the mainly used, mainly used table spaces in Oracle Business Suite. And also for all the large objects, LOBs, such as for example attachments in Oracle Business Suite, like PDF documents for example, or images, they are stored in apps TS media. You always have to check frequently the free space in these table spaces. Because these are usually very high in size and they also grow very fast. The more the attachments that are there for the documents, the more the images that are stored in the database, the apps TS media will also increase. You always have to make sure that there is enough free space in all these table spaces. 